Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. A first agitation was organized by Bir Khalsa Sansa on witness day at Samvidan Chowk to support the farmers movement in Delhi on the occasion of National Farmers Day. Farmers in Delhi are on a hunger strike in the streets and in the bitter cold to demand justice. In support of him, hunger strikes and hunger strikers have been supported by various organizations and political parties. A one-day fast was organized by Khalsa Group in Nagpur today. This movement was supported by the armed army party by participating all day today. The agitation against the agricultural law brought by the central government has been going on for a long time as the government is working only for Adani Ambani and not for the benefit of as the government is working only for Adani Ambani and not for the benefits of the farmers or the general public. IAP demanded that the MVA resign should clarify its position on the agriculture bill. The National Conference of ABVP is going to be held on 25th and 26th December 2020 at Dr. Hedgevar Smarav Smriti Mandir Rishnath Nagpur. In this convention, member of Central Working Committee will participate in person and 1,50,000 students, karyakartas from 4,000 locations across the country will join online. Prior to the National Conference of ABVP, Central Working Committee meeting will be held on December 24 also online and of this meeting, National Executive Council will be held on the same day from 5 to 7 pm in which various important issues of importance of ABVP will be discussed. Honorable Sir Karyavai of RSS will be guest for inaugural session of the National Conference of December 25th, 2020. The inaugural session will be attended by the newly elected National President of ABVP Chagan Bhai Patel and re-elected National General Secretary. The first day of the night curfew announced by the state government in view of COVID strains scare in UK turned out to be full of action in Nagpur. As senior police officials turned up on streets on Tuesday to keep the curfew in check, many citizens were caught unaware as they took the announcement casually while cops were serious. As the police parties zoomed out across the prominent areas in the city to implement the night curfew, most of the people chose to ignore the orders. The police doled out serious warning to the violators, who seems all set to party in the winter chill. It was revealed that many of the citizens violating the night curfew were found stepping out from the bars and it was revealed that many of the citizens violating the night curfew were found stepping out from the bars and restaurants. The decision has been taken in view of ensuring celebration mood for Christmas and New Year. A young woman lost Rs 51,516 within a few minutes of sharing an one-time password with a cyber scammer posing as a credit card executive of her bank. Jayashish Chakur Rathod, a resident of flat number 303 from Mila apartment near Pande Memorial Hospital, Sathe Mark Dantoli, had received a call on her cell phone around 5 p.m. on November 30. Impersonating as a bank executive, the caller told her that she had scored some points on her credit card. He also told her that she would lose the point if she failed to activate her credit card. On the pretext of activating her credit card, he generated an OTP using her name. He then asked her to share with him after procuring her personal bank details. JSE was stunned when she received a message from bank that rupees 51,516 were debited. Central team has arrived in East Vidarbha from Wednesday to assess the damage done to crop in the month of August and its aftermath. The first team will inspect Nagpur district tomorrow and the second team will inspect Garchula district tomorrow. The first team will inspect Kamthi Parshuni at a half an acre of Mauda Taluka in the afternoon from 9 to 10 in the morning. The team will leave the Bandara district at 4.30 pm after completing the inspection. The team will visit some villages in Chandrapur, Bandara and Gondia district of Nagpur division on Friday. A review meeting in this regard will be held on Saturday, 26 December at 10.30 am at the Divisional Commissioner's Office premises. There are piles of garbages in many parts of the city. The corporation has appointed two agencies to collect garbage from household. If any kind of waste is found in the Cleaning action will be taken against concerned staff. However, the officials concerned are equally responsible for this. Therefore, if any piles of garbage are seen in the city, the concerned official will be fined. 
one acting mayor Sandeep Joshi. Efforts are being made at the administrative level to make the city of Nagpur look clean and beautiful. The city of Nagpur, which is lagging behind even if the clean survey has now come a long way. In order to further improve the standard, their need is to be better implementation at the administrative level in terms of cleanliness, he said. Joshi also assessed several other issues in the city. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnagar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sach Dikhai, Vena Chupai.